Welcome to Ask the Owl. In these videos, I will be answering your questions and giving insights about investing, trading, personal finance, and business for beginners. I am Dion Pouncil. In this video, we will address the question, what is an FSA? A flexible spending account is a type of savings account that is used to pay for certain medical expenses that are not covered by insurance. It is typically offered by employers as part of their benefits package. With an FSA, you can set aside a portion of your pre-tax salary to pay for qualified medical expenses, such as co-pays, prescriptions, and certain medical equipment. The money in the account is deducted from your paycheck before taxes, which can lower your overall tax bill. The funds in FSA are typically used or losing, which means that if you don't use the money in the account by the end of the play year, you will lose it. Some employers may offer a grace period or the option to carry over a small amount of funds to the next year. FSAS can be a great way to save money on healthcare expenses, especially if you have a lot of out-of-pocket expenses. It's important to keep in mind that there are limits on the amount of money you can contribute to an FSA each year and you have to keep receipts and proof of expenses to submit for reimbursement. In summary, a flexible spending account is a type of savings account that is used to pay for certain medical expenses that are not covered by insurance. It is typically offered by employers as part of their benefits package and it allows you to set aside a portion of your pre-tax salary to pay for qualified medical expenses, such as co-pays, prescriptions, and certain medical equipment. The money in the account is deducted from your paycheck before taxes, which can lower your overall tax bill. However, it's important to note that the funds in the FSA are typically used or lose it, which means that if you don't use the money in the account by the end of the plan year, you will lose it. It's also important to keep in mind that there are limits on the amount of money you can contribute to a FSA each year, and you have to keep receipts and proof of expenses to submit for reimbursement. Thanks for watching Money Schools Ask Dion. That wraps it up for this video. Go ahead and click the like button and keep your questions and thoughts coming in the comments section below. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel so you can get a notification every time we post videos.